This time Space Tech went to basics and reinvented a wheel. Orochi is not just a walking robot. Once you press the ability button, it transforms into a rolling speeder. Chase down enemy mid-rangers or get away from their brawlers. When it's about speed, you will have a clear edge. Orochi is a saboteur robot, which means it is good for capturing beacons and hit-and-run tactics. To help you do that, Orochi also gains stealth for the duration of its ability. You will still be visible to the eye, of course, but not to the enemy weapons. They just won't lock on you. On top of that, Space Tech gave Orochi a multi-purpose corrosive cannon. As long as your ability is active, the cannon will automatically snipe enemies within its range. The corrosive nanorobots will keep eating through their hulls even after you switch the target. Your prey might not notice them at first, but if they forget about you, they will definitely feel it later. Orochi thrives on hit-and-run tactics. Here, for example, it outflanks enemy brawlers to attack Hawk, which just got vulnerable after landing. As the brawlers decide to cover their ally, Orochi rushes through. Once the job is done, it uses the ability again to escape. Oh, and look how Orochi's cannon fends against those pursuers. Lesson taken. Pursuing Orochi is rarely a good idea, even if it's in your name. There are quite a few things on the market that Orochi fears. If the enemy, for example, sees through your stealth, then you'd better find physical cover. And remember that splash damage is a threat, even if the enemy can't lock on you. Orochi is perfect for those who prefer cunning maneuvers to frontal assaults. Run for the beacons or try to hunt down enemy VIPs. Orochi has an escape plan in any case. Let's roll! Happy hunting, commanders!